Welcome back. I got a big one for you today. Also, why are there so many berry bushes in the lemon biome? So many berry bushes everywhere. Okay, so this is a map I downloaded off Steam. Erratic 2. So check that out if you want. Maybe I'll link it if I remember. So what we're going to do is something we've done before, but much cooler this time. We've done the whole demigod thing where we give each kingdom a couple like special people that like live forever and are super powerful. We're doing that today, but we're gonna do all seven races. These last three, if you haven't seen me use these in previous videos, these are from a mod called Diversity Crate. I will link that in the description as well. Uh, we got goblins, hive, and lizards. So let's go ahead and get started. It is a very big map, but it, with seven different kingdoms, we're gonna have to make sure we don't crowd them together too much. Okay, so I already decided to put the goblins here because their whole thing is that they don't have their own buildings. They just set up camp in existing destroyed ones. So we got goblins here. Let's put hive in the desert out here. Yeah, there we go. Lizards, we'll put them not in the swamp. Let's put them next to the swamp or right on the edge. There we go. All right, now for the default races. Let's put humans somewhere decent. We could probably put them here. Let's put the orc somewhere kind of crowded. Let's put them in the, the snow because they're super OP right now. Also, why did they split up? Okay, elves, we'll put them maybe up here. And the dwarves maybe out here in like the mountain areas. The other option would be to put them up here. You know, let's do that actually. Kind of rude to put them in the middle of the map. Put them back here. I got a little bit of blessed land. Okay, now we create the beasts. Let's make the kings the ones. Demigod gives them a stupid amount of health and makes them make a gigantic explosion when they die. We're going to give the same traits to everyone, so let's just side here. Demigod, immortal, and regeneration? Yeah. Let's call this guy Gobby, the great Gobby, and his village will be called Gob Town. Okay, well, unfortunately, the goblins' population is already diving, so we'll see if they are able to last at all. Okay, humans. You, Dan. Should we just call this guy Dan? Dan. Okay. You get demigod, immortal, regeneration. Congratulations. Okay, you? Are you the king? Yeah? All right. You don't look very kingly to me. Give you the usual. Satur. Let's just call him Bug Boy. Bugville. Elves. How about a very standard name? How about Douglas? There's your traits. There's your star. Dugland. Okay. Okay, lizard guy, demigod, regeneration, immortal, star. What's a good lizard name? How about Bobzilla? Great Bobly. Okay, we're on the way to success. There's your traits. It's a good orc one. We did Bork last time or Burke or something. Let's do Jerk. Yeah, Jerkberg. Okay, last but not least, the dwarves, but he's just hanging out in the tent. Yay, we got you. Okay, keep minor. There we go. A good dwarf name. You know, the kingdom being called Great Prill makes me think of Phil, so let's call him Phil. Then we'll call the kingdom Great Philip. Great Phil. No, let's call him Philip. Yeah, there we go. And then Great Phil. Okay, all right, we're ready to go. To recap, we got Gobby, the demigod goblin, Dan, the demigod human, Philip, the demigod dwarf, Jerk, demigod orc, Douglas, demigod elf, Bug Boy, demigod hive, and Bobzilla, demigod lizard. Let's just give the goblins a little chance here and give them some more population. I even gave them tents, you know? and everything they could ever need. They just are such a wandering race, like their king is out here. Gobby is just exploring the lands right now. And he's sad. Oh, Gobby, don't be sad. Okay, so everyone's populations are relatively even. Gob Town having a little extra. A nice kind of circle here. There's a big gap between orc and lizard. So lizards might have a good time here because even though they got kind of bad starting land, their opponents are no one and the goblins who will probably defeat themselves. Lizards will have a pretty good time. Orcs have a little bit of a slow starting area, but they've got lots of land to access provided they can get there first, which I think that they will. Elves, kind of the same thing. Decent starting spot, lots of land to expand to, including Lemony Lemon. We got Bugville out here. They have lots of land to themselves and they have the option to go across the water and hang out in Candyland if they choose to, which has lots of adamant adamantine. The humans are going to have to deal with the temptation of going into the 
corrupted landscape and just dying. So hopefully they can uh, not do that. There's only one passageway, but it looks like they're already moving that direction. Although, wait. Wait, what? Oh, whoa. Was there a bug village here? Why is there like a destroyed bug thing? Interesting. Okay. Well, it looks like Bugville was down here at some point. Great Bobbly, 45. Pretty cool. A Dugland, 33. Great Phil, struggling. They do have a really crowded starting spot, but it's to protect them from the orcs, hopefully. And also they could get some blessed if they want to come down here. But I actually would think it'd be smarter for them to move this way. Let's actually clear them a little bit more land because I realize it's actually more crowded than I thought. I don't want to interfere too much, of course, but I realize they don't really have that much land to work with. Ah, that's better. Also, tell me this doesn't look like a face. You know, like some sort of cartoon face facing this direction. There's a nose, a head, kind of like eyebrows maybe. A big mouth, chin. I don't know, man. Gob Town's population is slowly decreasing. I gave you guys all these buildings. It looks like lots of the ones that were destroyed, they didn't even take. They just took like these three tents and called it a day. I'm still confused by them, but I don't know. Maybe since they have some tents, they'll at least survive for a little while. They expanded out here. Did they take these tents or were these just here? They're actually expanding. That's good to see. Lizards expanding greatly. I think they're in the lead right now by just a little bit. Right in front of humans and elves. Let's check on our friends. Bobzilla, 36 years old, three kids. Favorite food is fish. Good for you. Everyone's at full health again. That's nice. How's our boy Philip doing? 31. He's got a kill already. Huh. It looks like he got blessed from the uh, enchanted biome. Actually, that multiplies his health, doesn't it? 13,000 health. Let's go. He's going to need it once the orcs declare war on him. How's a jerk doing? 35, no kills, four children, congratulations. Okay, who's this guy? Is this Gobby? Oh, this is Dan. Whoa, Dan, what are you doing way out here? Dude, humans are like exploring way out here. I don't think that's a good strategy to have your king be the one that explores for new places to set up camp. I don't know. Okay, looks like he's back home. Bugville, how we doing? Looking very bugtastic. I guess we could speed this up a little bit. Let's check out our rules here. We've got rebellions off. We got angry villagers off. Peaceful monsters off, of course. Disasters off. Let's turn minerals on. I do have lots of them placed, but I think it'd be good to have a little extra. Gob Town is dying. The thing about the goblins is they're eventually going to all starve to death or, you know, die of old age. But, but the king, who can't die from old age and can heal, once the kingdom itself is gone, he's going to be around for like ever until someone actually kills him. So his role in all of this might not be to have his own kingdom. It might be just some crazy goblin that just roams the world. Pretty scary. Lizard 76. They are thriving in the swamp, building their PlayStation 4s everywhere. Jerkberg has expanded to the mainland, living in the jungle now. Good for them. Looks like Great Phil has taken over that land I cleared out for them. You're welcome. Dugland at 86, 87, 89. The elves do tend to populate pretty quickly, so I would not be surprised if they end up passing the lizards. But ever since the most recent nerf, they have like no damage. Yeah, they're gonna do really well until the first fight against them happens and then they die. Such is life. Looks like humans are doing pretty well. Just about to break a hundred as well. Maybe. 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 There you go. You did it. Proud of you. Cool. Looks like Jerkberg did the same. So everyone's doing pretty well, I would say, except for goblins. Although, look at that. They're up to 52 now. They were kind of stuck at like 15 for a while, but they've actually turned it around. Good for them. I like the idea of them, you know? Oh, looks like they're building their own houses. Okay, cool. So maybe once they take over existing wrecked ones, they like are able to learn how to make their own or something. Because these are obviously human buildings they're making. I'm still a little confused about them, but uh, I like them. I think they're cool. Pretty moderate damage, but pretty low health. And I don't know what their uh, lifespan is, but I'm pretty sure it's short. Okay, so everyone's above 100 except for Gobtown and Bugville's just barely not quite there yet. How's it going out here, Bug Boy? Nine children. It's level seven. What are you leveled up so fast from? I don't know. Good for you, though. Oh, we got a war here. Lizards versus goblins. Oh, no. We all know what's going to happen here. Oh, boy. I hope the goblins don't get completely annihilated right here. Also, can't they connect? Does this not connect? I guess not. They got to go all the way over and around. No, you fools. Leave my boys alone. They were just getting situated. Oh, Jerkberg has declared war on Great Phil. 
predictable. Okay, let's keep an eye out for favorites fighting. We got Gobby out here whooping up on some lizards, man. He's not having it. What is his weapon? See, right there, it looks like a sword, but right here, it's like a basket. <laughs> okay, do what you want to do. We got Phil out here defending his land. Philip, I mean. He's got 22 kills. Look at his health. He's got veteran. Bro, this guy's a beefcake now. Good luck stopping Philip. Yeah, Philip. Let's go, dude. Gobby's out here just destroying their whole village, getting major revenge. Bobzilla's just working. If they end up fighting each other, I think Bobzilla will win, but. Oh no, they're getting attacked behind Gobby's back. All right, now it's a race. Who can destroy whose village first? Okay, looks like Philip defended that whole wave, ending with 63 kills, good for him. He kind of needs to go on the offensive. Oh, 192 versus 130, holy smokes. Okay, I don't know if the goblins are going to survive this. This isn't that many lizards, but the goblins are so weak. Although these guys have like no health. Look at him go though. They sent out another little army and Gobby was like, no, I don't think so. If they survive long enough, they might just declare peace again, because I feel like that's usually what happens. You, Dan, just declare war on Gobtown. Come on, guys. They're the weakest one. We gotta all team up on them. Where's Dan at? I wanna speak with him. Where is Dan? Is he right here? Oh, he's right here. He's just working. No kills. Jerkberg declared war on Great Bobbly. Okay. Well, that might work out, because if they have both sides attacking the orcs, maybe the orcs won't be able to wipe out the dwarves so quickly. Same thing's happening to the goblins, though. They're getting attacked from both sides, but but now the lizards have to deal with the orcs as well. Oh, no. Philip, defend. Philip, what are you doing? There you go. Come on, get involved. Yeah, defeat them all. Look at him go. He's just got a wood stick. A legendary wood stick. Son of Urg Ord. Very cool. Oh, no. You missed some. Philip. Philip, look behind you. Douglin declared war on Jerkburg. Okay, that's three people at war with Jerkburg right now. Bugville is just like staying out of it. They're the only kingdom that's not at war with anyone. <laughs> they're just like, whatever. We just want to be bugs. As long as they get to eat honey or something, they're fine. You know, who cares? Why get involved? Great Phil is looking pretty weak. Gobtown's still at 100, though, despite everything. Gobby's still down here just whooping up everybody. It's right in the middle of their kingdom. You shouldn't have pissed him off. How many kills you got now? 261. Bro. Okay, Dan's hanging out at home. Bug Boy's at home. Doug, working on the farm? Man, people are having very different experiences than each other right now. Philip is just fighting for his life right now. Philip's got it going on. I mean, Philip's kind of like Gobby, but Philip's defending killing everybody. Gobby's just hanging out in the enemy kingdom, killing everybody. <laughs> Dugland is in the lead for population, probably because our boy Douglas back here is just working so hard. Good for him. Jerkberg, kind of the same thing. Their hero is not really helping fight, but they're helping work on the economy, so I guess that helps. Gobtown is managing to grow in population and actually expand. I'm happy that we actually get them in here. We should actually change colors because I realized these guys are kind of red as well. Is this still red? Okay, it's yellow. We can do that. Yeah, there's a lot of humans in here as well as lizards. So, kind of tough. But, hey, look. Gobby's going to make it work, you know? I wish he'd move in a little bit. Jerkberg just declared peace with Great Phil. They're down to 40 population. They needed that. Otherwise, they were screwed. So, I think they're at peace with everyone currently so they can rebuild. Gobtown is not looking too good. Everyone's being so mean to them. But now the elves are going to teach the orcs a lesson. Well, they're going to try to, but remember, they're really not good at fighting. Jerkberg, 308 population. Despite being at war with three different kingdoms, now only two, but previously three. I don't know why they're doing so well. I mean, I do know why. It's because they're so OP, but are they really that OP? They can be in three wars and be still number one in population and actually be pushing the other teams back. Absurd, I say. Un- Fair. Okay, Gobby is still hanging out in the same spot, and now he's going to be fighting orcs pretty soon here. I'm sure he doesn't care, as long as it dies. I don't think he minds. One could say he'd be better off defending his home, since it's currently being scorched right now, but you know what? Sometimes you just got to get out of the house and try to make a difference in your community, you know? Bugville, still uh, not bugging anyone. <laughs> we got Dugland, only at war with the orcs. And honestly, even though they're attacking the orcs, it looks like they're also the ones getting beaten. Like, they declared war, and then they move their armies out, and then the, the orcs are like, no, I think we'll actually defeat you instead. So, not looking good for them. I'm really hoping we don't get just orcs steamrolling again today. I was really hoping for something different. 
Great Bobbly is struggling, man. They got orcs on one side, Gobby on the other. He's down here now, look at that. Killing humans again. Oh no, poor goblins. Oh, Gobby's home. A little late, dude. Your kingdom has been annihilated while you were gone. Okay, orcs are leaving the lizards alone to go attack the elves, and Gobtown just made peace with Udan. They're still at war with the lizards. Udan just declared war on Dugland. Okay, Doug is screwed, okay? He's also taking a nap right now, looks like. Come on out. There you go. There you go. See that? See how your town is being destroyed right in front of you? Doesn't that make you a little bit upset? Does that make you want to do anything? Go to war? Defeat them all? There you go. There you go. You're getting it. Okay, Great Bobbly made peace with Jerkberg. Man, everyone making peace with them is kind of like bad because now they're being left alone. Great Bobbly made peace with Gobtown. I think elves are going to get wiped out. Douglas has a lot of work cut out for him, but but will he be up for the task? I know he just spent the last 115 years of his life farming, but uh, who knows? Maybe he's also a great warrior. It's going to take an awful lot to bring him down. You guys know that, right? Here they come. <laughs> this is it. The part where if they have enough troops, they can work his health all the way down. How much do they have? Oh, look at them. They're not messing around. This could be it for him. Huh? Come on, buddy. It's gonna take a while, but they're gonna do it. Although this fire just burning their own army, that might actually help him a lot. Oh! They did it. Douglas has been defeated. Oh, our first one down. Rest in peace, my boy. You fought valiantly. Unfortunately, that pretty much means it's the end for... What? Peace! And they just wanted to kill Douglas. Classic jerk behavior, huh? Why we called him jerk? He's got 40,000 health. Oh, he's got crazy armor. See, he's working. He's working for the future. He's ensuring that later on they're going to be ready. He hasn't fought a single person yet, but he's got 40,000 health and a bunch of legendary armor. Also, this looks like the end for Dugland. So tragic to see. Oh, Udan has declared war on Great Bobbly. Humans against lizards. I love that the bugs have done nothing. The hive is just chilling. They really just don't care. Bug Boy's 126. Just hanging out. Oh, Doug Land. So sad. Great Phil is just stranded up here, unfortunately. I was hoping they could work their way off the island. There's a couple different ways off. There's one here, here, and here. But the orcs were so aggressive, they just took over the dwarves' island. And now they're kind of stranded in the back here. The future of the... Oh, definitely doesn't look good for them. I was going to say the future looks pretty bleak for them. And then Jerkberg declared war on them. All right, Philip, get ready, all right? Oh, man, and they've got lots of armies this time. This is kind of good, though, because then maybe Jerkberg will get weakened. Because if you look, humans are actually in the lead right now. And that's with them being under so much conflict this whole time. Oh, no. Okay, where is he? Philip, defend. Here they come. See, if they can light them on fire, I feel like that's the weakness. Because fire does, I think it does damage to your your health percentage. I think that's why fire always kills them. So even if they have like 20,000 health, it'll do like 10% of your health at a time. Oh, that was a close one. Philip, oh, whoa, they're actually doing a good amount of damage to him. Whoa, no way. Oh no, Philip. How's your kingdom looking? They're all just here dogpiling this poor guy. You can just watch his kill count go up like crazy. Anyone got more fire? Hey, look at this guy coming to help out. Good for you. MVP. Oh, they got more armies coming in, though. 500 population, almost. Gobtown's still here, dude. Look at them go. Bugville, still not involved at all. Philip over here, still defending for his life. The lizards have expanded quite a bit, but they've been under constant war since, like, the game started. So, like, they have not had a chance to do anything, really. It's a war between them and the humans over here. They've been attacking the goblins, like, the whole game. And then they had the orcs earlier. You, Dan, has declared war on Bugville. Oh no, not Bugville. Okay, whoa, Philip survived. 314 kills, 110 children. Personality, administrator. Uh-huh, sure. Okay, Bugville is attacking you, Dan. That's cool. Where's Bug Boy at? Way in the back, taking a nap. There's such a distinct difference between how aggressive certain demigods were. It's like Gobby was just like all over the world killing everybody. You got Philip over here defending for his life like at all times. He's the only reason why his kingdom is still alive. And then you had, you know, Douglas kind of defended. But then you have people like Dan, Jerk over here that like just literally haven't even stepped outside of their home. 
Okay, Bobzilla is out here starting to get kills. Nine kills. About time he helps out, you know? You, Dan, declare war on Gobtown. Dude, leave my boys alone. The humans are looking kind of beefy, though. They got tons of land. 580 population. If they wipe out Bugville and Gobtown and take over all this land, the orcs are going to have a problem. Dang, who do I watch? We got Bugville getting killed over here, but we got Philip. Oh, look how low he is. Still 25k, but he's down half health. His village is about to be completely wiped out. Three people left. Get him, boy. Oh, he just healed to full. Okay, looks like Udan might have bit off more than they can chew because they've got all these different kingdoms attacking them. They're at war with three people right now, and I'm pretty sure they declared all those wars. It wouldn't be so bad if Dan would actually help out, but Dan's just like chilling living his life you know working on the farm look at this bloody excaliander holy smokes dude go use that thing he does have 48 kills though so he must have fought someone at some point how you doing philip 450 kills i don't know how your kingdom is not eliminated yet but i won't ask questions how's bugville doing not good that's how what's weird is they have all this land like their kingdom says it's this big but they haven't really built anything beyond this top area they started in like they're really not good at expanding not good at all kind of hoping they would take over Candyland to get all the uh adamantine but i guess that's too much thinking for a couple of bugs to figure out okay you dan made peace with great bobbly maybe they'll get to uh hang out great bobbly just declared war on Gobtown though dude you're at 90 they're at 200 maybe just chill for a minute you know How's Gobby doing? 393 kills. Good for you, dude. Congratulations. You're a maniac. Oh, they're really not messing around right now, are they? Philip is unkillable, don't you know? Look at him. He's hacking. He's glitching out the game. Philip, what's wrong with you, dude? Philip, chill. Why are you acting like this? He does have pretty much the entire kingdom of Jerkberg coming after him, but he'll be good for a little while. All right, we got Gobby down here, fighting away. Now, as usual for these types of videos where we have these immortal demigod people, we usually do it over multiple parts, and that's probably what we'll do here because this will go on for a long time, but I also don't want to skip anything. Okay, looks like Philip's village has been destroyed, but Philip, Philip has not been. As long as they don't throw fire on him, he should be fine for a while. But also this situation right here where he's under constant attack, to kill him if they just keep sending more people, they can kill him this way too by just never giving him a chance to heal. But they just send like 15, 20 guys at a time, he kills them all and then he heals. I don't know. Oh, they just made peace, and he's making a new village. Good for him. All right, I'm kind of waiting for one more big thing to happen, and then we'll call this the end of part one. I was thinking maybe Bugville would get eliminated, but they're not quite pushing far enough for that to be doable. Plus, they still haven't even dealt with Bug Boy yet. Great Bobbly has come close to getting wiped out a couple times, but no one's pushed quite far enough to stop them. And then Gobtown, I kept thinking they were done for, but they keep kind of holding on. So, I think Gobiev's out here just killing everybody. Look with his, with his silver legendary blade and his studs. It's not looking too good for Bugville, though, I'll tell you that much. Jerkberg just declared war on Udan. Oh, humans versus orcs. Okay. Man, orcs just bumped up their population a ton. 750? They, like, took over all the dwarves' old land. Rip. All right, let's call this the end of part one. Sort of a cliffhanger, but also sort of stagnant right now. Next time, we'll probably begin with someone getting uh, eliminated. So thanks for watching, guys. Stick around for part two. It'll be up in the next couple days. And uh, yeah, comment and let me know who your favorite demigod is. I think personally, my favorite is probably Gobby. I like how just insane he seems. He just like was way over here for like half the game. He's been very aggressive and he knows what he wants. Cool. Stay tuned for part two. I'll see you guys next time.